Just 10 miles from Starkville, Mississippi, there's a wetland oasis where a private landowner worked with USDA's Natural Resources Conservation Service to transform farmlands into vibrant wetlands. Eric Dibble participated in the Wetlands Reserve Program, or WRP. This is a conservation effort that changed agricultural lands into lush swamps and marshes. Over the past 12 years, the college professor at Mississippi State University has watched the wetlands evolve into a prosperous ecosystem filled with plants and wildlife. This wetland has been a hobby of mine, and uh, I've, uh, it's in my backyard, and it's been uh, a, uh, an opportunity for me to, to have a conservation unit and to oversee and watch wetland uh, benefits come from it. Uh, migratory birds are using it now. It used to be a hay field. The site here is small. Like I said, it sort of as a postage stamp, but overall, nationally, it is a network of, of wetlands habitat for uh, waterfowl and wildlife. Uh, this particular wetland, like uh, some of the other WRPs, uh, are very helpful to not only recharge aquifers, but it also provides habitat uh, for aquatics to uh, native species to come back. Uh, for example, this used to be a hay field, um, but now we have uh, smart weeds and we have a lot of other aquatic plants starting to grow in there. Um, those are all aquatic native plants that are uh, beneficial to waterfowl. As an ecosystem, this not only traps sediments and reduces uh, sediment flow downstream, um, it also prevents an, uh, pollution from going downstream in the, in the hydrological system. Through WRP, landowners like Dibble put wetland areas into easements for which they are paid. This includes a series of levees, water control structures, as well as planted cypress and oak trees. All this restoration was able to trigger the beginnings of a wetland. With time, the land changed from a hayfield to a functional wetland. He enjoyed this transformation with his family, who hunts and bird watches on the land. He also enjoyed it with his ecology students, who made regular field visits to the property. Throughout the years, many students, including myself, have tracked the different plants and insects living and thriving within the easement. Over time, those students collected the data on how flooded land will transfigure ecologically. Consider the Wetlands Reserve Program. WRP is available to landowners across the U.S. who have property with an agricultural history in hydric soils. For more information, stop by your local NRCS office or just visit www.nrcs.usda.gov.